Okay guys, so boiling your water is a super important step if you are drinking straight from the river. I learned my lesson the hard way drinking straight from the river in Alaska and you can actually catch a parasite called Giardia which lives in your intestines and causes a lot of havoc and there's roughly 600,000 cases of them in Australia every single year which I didn't know about. So if you're going to drink river water make sure you boil it and to kill all bacteria or living parasites it has to be a rolling boil for at least 30 seconds to a minute, a minute to be safer. Got a bit of luck on my side today. No knot on that string, so has to be trout in there. So all I do is I just put a sink on there, bang, around half a meter deep, something like that, boom, and then I've got a little stopper, I call him. A little stopper. Put him on here. I have to put some knots on there. There we go, and then a really, a really small hook, especially for those trout. Look at that, that there is going to work. Now make sure when you got the hook there, you cut everything away right on the side. So now that's the system, sinker here, stopper here, the hook is over there, so when the fish starts pulling, that sinker stays in place, right? So that means you can feel it, but the fish can't. Give him a little slap, and you got him right there. No, look at this here. It's not a worm, still bait, but that there is full of protein, so we can have it for us. Especially if you're in survival mode, we put it straight down the hatch, and it's gonna help you to survive. <laughs> Not that one. That one goes on a hook. Let's rock and roll. I'm trying to get it right there, right next to the rocks. Want some more of your poison? <laughs> yeah, jump on that. <laughs> coming down. Yeah. And I have to go up and go for hunt straight up there. Straight up there, you know, on the right face there, on the right hand side. And then glass across maybe. Well last time I hunted that face there was lots of deer sign yeah. on that particular face. So if the sun's hitting on the opposite face then for sure yeah. they'll be there yeah. this afternoon. It's gonna be good. And the wind's coming down too so it's gonna be a win-win I reckon.
to the top now. Yeah. Just came up from the gully down there and then um, the rolling hills start happening. And yeah. I'm telling you guys, nice views. So we've got some really good faces on the other side of this ridge. So we're just going to pop over it, go really slow, nice and carefully, and then glass the other face for, for this afternoon. So yeah, it's going to be good. It's amazing views. Amazing. And that there is the first top right there. This up here is the first top and we're going to dip down a little bit. Let's see what's behind there. The snake's already yeah, showing us there's lots of deer in the area already. So yeah. Shouldn't have to wait too long, we might see something. Fingers crossed. Online hunters, multiple six figure earners, and owners of one of Australia's fastest growing online programs. Have you ever wondered how they've been able to create a full time income while having complete time freedom to do what they love? Well, they are now teaching outdoor enthusiasts how to create an online business around your passions and hobbies with zero product promotion using their automated online program that does 95% of the sale for you. Suitable for anyone that is looking to create time freedom and a full-time income by working online. Limited spots available each month. So if you're ready to stop surviving through life and start experiencing it the way you've always wanted, then click the link in the description box below to fill in an application and book your call in for a free seven day trial. Shooter right there, there. Well done, though. Well done. Oh, that there. Oh, man. The hind ran straight down and then to the right. Should we go? Should we go? Close, quick. Hang on, hang on. That calf is down. That calf is down. Oh, well done. Well done. Let's walk over there quickly because the hind ran this way. Should we get the hind or not?
Well done. Well done. <laughs> oh man. Second deer down. <sighs> First three deer. For me. Back what in Australia. Nice. First trip? Yeah. Come, comes back from Alaska. Yeah. Smashes the whole bush down. Man, well done, dog. That is so good. We're gonna go down there. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this drag out though. I don't know if that second deer was a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I'm not sure either. Because that goes up all the way to the first hill, down the gully, and up the other hill, and then all the way down to the waterfall. So. And they both rolled. I saw it on, yeah. on like this camera here. Yeah. They both bang, yeah. bang. They're both down 100%. So, what a sharpshooter. Well done. That gun as well. Yeah. Right. 308, by the way. Yeah. 308 gun here. I love this gun. Well done. I love this rifle. Anyway, Snake's excited to go and find the deer. So, he's already let's... most likely digging somewhere. Yeah. And one deer. Let him get into it. So, oh, man. I want to be very honest with you guys. I'm already a little bit worried because it's a. This is. By far the biggest drag out we would ever do. I mean, it goes up one all the way to the top, and that will be like six, seven hundred meters, and then all the way down. Mm -hmm. And for those that want to ask and say, why don't chop it up, guys? Me personally, <laughs> done it before, chop up a deer, doing six trips, six trips up, down, up, down, rather drag the whole deer, okay? So, if you say it again that we have to chop it up, <laughs> We will drag three deer next time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> three deer. Don't Nothing us, goes around the dragging. Don't make us do that. <laughs> let's rock and roll and let's see if we can... Well, we're going to we'll find him. Sneak will be onto him yeah. straight away, so let's, let's do well it. Well done again. Super proud of you though. Boom. What a sharpshooter. Let's go. First we saw a big hind come out, which you probably saw from the footage already, but we did want to wait to see if a calf came out because it's better if you do, you know, if you're looking for, for meat and you get a good size eating calf, it's better to maybe take the calf first. Sometimes shooting the hinds, you know, if she does have a you know younger calf, the calf doesn't always survive. And uh, yeah, so we got lucky and uh, a calf came out, so we ended up taking, taking the calf. And then not too long after that, maybe another couple of hundred meters away, we ended up finding the hind anyway. So why not two for two and very can... lucky yeah sometimes what happens is if you shoot the calf the hind runs off but it won't run for far because she's always looking out for the calf so it's always come we're going to come back and we were waiting and then snake was pointing and it was just full on and then lucky yeah 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 the second one came out and bang <laughs> been amazing definitely tell spring is in the air as well with all the blowflies hanging around here in australia so uh we've got to try and pack these out as quickly as we can try and save as much of the meat as we can as well. We've got some good prime quality, free range venison, so yes. we don't want to spoil it. We don't want these blowflies to get all over it, so we're going to work really quickly and we're going to get them out. Yeah, that, that walk up there, guys, is hell. Oh, hell, yeah. hell and a bit. So, oh. let's go. We well like, done, Dal, super yeah. proud. Let's rock and roll. He's ready to rock, look at him. Let the good times roll. Then the journey starts, and I don't even know how we're going to get these deers up there, but it's going to be a lot of huffing. 
and puffing. And <laughs> potential swear words. Yeah. All right. Should we cut them out or not? They're swear words. <laughs> nah. Hmm. Lots of kids are watching too. May have to cut some out. Rest in between, then it makes the journey a lot easier. Rest until your muscles recover, go again, rest, go again, we'll get the job done. Can I tell you a little secret? What? The full length we've done so far, that time's around 60 times and we should be there. <laughs> Good one. Ah, got me. <laughs> I do. I do get her very well, because she knows it's the truth. <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyway, hope you guys have fun at home. Sit on your couch with your popcorn. They all relax. Ah. Anyways, let's get this job done, yeah? Okay. Marcus also doesn't know that I put about five river stones in his backpack. Five <laughs> kilos each. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Imagine that. Uh -huh. I hope it's some five. Got some nice river stones in there for you. I saw you put some five, you know, some carton, carton dries <laughs> in there or something. Uh, well, <sighs> let's get a wriggle on. We're losing daylight. We've only got about 20 minutes of daylight left, so. Usually I'm the one saying, Steph, come on. Easy work, easy done. Yeah. Today it's the opposite, hey? Pretty hard. Wow. Okay. That meat is, that meat is gonna taste amazing. I'm gonna smack that on, on the project we're gonna create soon. So yeah. tomorrow though. We're gonna turn everything off for tonight. Enough is enough. And tomorrow, I hope we see you guys down there at the, I can't even talk anymore. At the river. At the river. See you there. See you there. Woo! is picking up. You're seeing in the paddles here. Man, we had good weather yesterday, but it's picking up a bit. So, gonna gut us on firewood quick, and then 
put the firewood underneath there to make sure it doesn't get wet and then hopefully we, hopefully we can make it happen. It's dead, dry pieces. And it's been sheltered a little bit, so this will do. So when it's raining and you can't find dry wood, remember the insides of dead logs are always going to be dry and the outside is a, a little bit wet so that'll do the job. While I'm gathering this firewood, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a funny story. Marx and I thought it was my birthday today. While we're out here gathering firewood, Marcus is making a, something down there to cook the meat on. And it's pouring down rain and we're absolutely drenched. I thought today was my birthday. But my birthday was yesterday, the 8th of September. And you know what? I was out in the bush, slogging my guts out with my little mate over there and Marcus doing the hard yards getting it done for my birthday but you know what sometimes you need to challenge yourself and you need to put things back into perspective I think nowadays that people can get way too complacent with everyday living and the creature comforts and you know they lose the gratitude for even just the small things like collecting some dry firewood or wet firewood that's dry on the inside and the pouring down rain and just being out in the bush and like the last three months in Alaska that I just spent every now and again in life you need these challenges you need things like that to yeah bring some perspective back it's good it's healthy for you and I recommend everybody try it once in a while because you only live once hey you only get one life one shot and all the hard yards and the challenges that's how you really know you're living and you're challenging yourself and you're challenging yourself to grow Life is all about growth, so get out there and do what you guys love doing. right where it's supposed to be otherwise if there's not enough pressure it's tough when it doesn't turn so build it good from scratch and it will work
more speed, the better. And it's dry, absolutely dry. Some crust here. Let's make some fire. I'm gonna chuck this on there and salt and pepper it. Watch it turn for a bit, a couple of potatoes, and I'm gonna do a special sauce, so stick around for that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 